I'm Creek Stewart, best-selling survival author and television host. My job takes me to some pretty incredible places all over the world. And when it comes to weird, creepy, crawly, and just plain gross wilderness food options, I've pretty much eaten it all. But my right-hand man, Jake Wild, well, he sticks to a pretty standard Western diet. Really? <laughs> But here's the deal, if he's going to work for me and be a survival guy, he's got to be willing to sink his teeth into anything and everything the wild places have to offer. Welcome to Creek's Survival Kitchen. So here's some inside scoop in the Creek Stewart Inc. and what we've been working on here. Um, over the past few months and releasing pretty soon is going to be a course and a book on building your own bug out vest. So awesome. <laughs> I know. It's, we've been having a ton of fun doing it too. So kind of a bug out survival vest style concept. It's not only a book and a manual, but it's also a complete online course. And so I have on a vest that we feature in the course and in the book. This is the South African Defense Force load-bearing vest. This was a vest back, I mean, I think it was came out in the 80s, and it is just one of the coolest load-bearing vests that you can find. Um, it looks amazing. I, know, I mean, it looks got, awesome. It it's comes in this, like, this is this color is called Nutria. So they're hard to find. Uh, we feature a lot of different load-bearing vests from a variety of different military forces, but also some commercial ones, too. But for today's episode of Survival Kitchen, I thought I would give Jake Wild a little eeny, meeny, miny, mo pick. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, in these pockets are all survival style edibles, okay? It depends on which pocket you pick will depend on what you're going to be subjected <sighs> to eat today, okay? Mm. So, pick a pocket, any pocket. Uh, Pick a pocket. Every, the, the, everything's in there. It's all different stuff. It's all different stuff. Are some things like okay and some things? No, everything. I mean, there are, it varies. Am I going to wish I'd picked a different pocket, I guess? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> okay. Uh, that one. Which one? The big, the big pocket. The, bi the big boy. He picked the big pocket. I go big or go of home. all the things you could have picked, this is this is an interesting one. Okay, oh, just show you me. ready? Yeah, reach in there. Oh, Daytrex ration bars. So this is a life bar, like a life raft bar um, that they store on life rafts. Okay, yeah. it's got all kinds of crazy calories and ingredients. Uh, let me see the ingredients list here. Let me find it. Okay, ingredients, wheat flour, vegetable shortening, cane sugar, water, coconut, and salt. It's kind of like a complete meal packed into these little bars. So it's, it's just densely packed with just the absolute nutrients you need. I mean, just Absolutely. the sugar, the salt, the... Absolutely. So this was, the manufacture date was 11-17. The expiration date is 11-22. Okay. So it's got a really great shelf, shelf life. life. And these were designed to put on life rafts, you know? So, yeah. I mean, it's any temperature, any condition. All right. So I've tasted these before, but I've never eaten a whole bar. <laughs> You're going to make me eat a whole bar? I think you should eat a whole bar so that all of us know exactly what to expect if we've ever got to dive in to a survival ration. Okay, I mean, okay, so somebody made this for survival purposes, so it can't be too bad, right? I don't know. It can't be too bad. Here you go. Cut into it. Pull out a, an entire bar. I think there's six bars in this. Maybe more, maybe 12. There's six. Oh, oh no, there is, you're right. Maybe 12 bars. Yeah. So they're in packs of, oh, they're in single packs. Okay. okay. So they're all individually wrapped. Pretty cool. It smells like a dog treat, to be honest with you. Because oh. I know intimately. 
what that tastes like now. <laughs> So oh. I flicked some in my eye. It's dry. <laughs> oh, it's crumbling as I try to get this off. Okay. It's kind of like a candy bar. I mean, that's kind of what I feel like, right? Um, sure. I don't know what kind of candy you eat. <laughs> okay, so let's 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 read for each one of these bars. It is um, 200 calories. Three grams of protein, 26 grams of carbohydrates, um, and then a few other little things on there. Those are the big ones. Got some, vi got some vitamins in there. So 200 calories in one bar. Well, it's a good thing I skipped breakfast. So yeah, I'm so. watching my girlish figure. Okay. okay. That's not bad at all. You get right off the bat, you get that cane sugar. You get the sweetness. Oh, really? So it and it just it tastes um, like a dry kind of oat cake, I guess. Like if you've ever had kind of like dry oatmeal or dryish yeah, yeah, oatmeal. Yeah. Okay. It kind of tastes like that. It's not bad at all, though. It's very it's sweet. It's very sweet. You can Is taste it? the sugar. I'm, okay. I'm assuming a lot of the calories come from sugar. Okay. Um, and the vegetable shortening, the shortening in there. Um, yeah. was, it, was it vegetable shortening? What was the shortening? It's nut free. That's good. So it's not overly dry. It's, I don't know what I did with the... I hang on, oh, man. Well. <laughs> it's not overly dry. So like, once it gets in your mouth, like that shortening and stuff, the fat kind of comes through. So it, it actually tastes rather dessert-like, to be quite really? honest with you. Yeah, it's not... I mean, it's not something you'd be like serving as a dessert to impress, but it's definitely got, it's a sweet over a savory, for sure. All right, so you're half done. Mm hmm It's not bad. It's actually kind of good. So if you were floating out in the middle of the ocean in a life raft and you busted some of these open, would you be happy? Oh, this would be a treat. Wow. This okay. would be a treat. Great. Absolutely. What's the protein content on these? Things? Protein, protein, three grams. So not that much, but three times 12, you know, three grams per bar, 200 calories per bar. So it's mostly carbs, I would say, over protein? Uh, I mean, there's 26 grams of carbohydrate. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Five grams of sugar. I mean, this is no problem at all. This might be the best thing I've ever had in the survival kitchen. Good. <laughs> so survival food wise, yay or nay? Good, cool. For so sure. a good thing to pack in your survival food rations then. Great job, Jake Wild. Thanks for taking another hit for the team Thank in you. the survival kitchen.